Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Cryptosporidiosis by Rectorox. I think I said that correctly, Cryptosporidiosis? Let's see. Cryptosporidiosis is a parasitic disease caused by the Cryptosporidium... Sorry, Cryptosporidium parasite. Oh yeah, I said that correctly. Inside the body, the aggressive parasite colonized the lining of its host intestines, resulting in diarrhea, <laughs> vomiting, and weight loss. Around 750,000 cases of cryptosporidiosis are reported every year, mainly because of how highly contagious it is. Humans can be infected by consuming water or soil that is tainted with contaminated fecal matter, making it one of the most common waterborne illnesses in the world. Cryptosporidium live in fresh water all over the world, even in chlorinated swimming pools, and is especially harmful to anyone with a weakened immune system, such as those with HIV, pregnant women, or young children. <laughs> the way this sentence is structured, it's like, it's, it's harmful to people who have HIV, people who have pregnant women, or people who have young children. <laughs> in extreme cases, cryptosporidiosis can be fatal. Be careful though, the goo in this test chamber may inhabit cryptosporidium parasites. Uh, I don't think that's, I don't think that's how you grammar. <laughs> Easy to medium difficulty funnel light bridge puzzle, made for the P2LC 4th Symmetry Competition. Walkthrough available. Alright, it's been a long time since we we played one of Rector Rox's disease maps. Alright, and we start off on a little ledge, so let's go ahead and drop down. Does this auto respawn? Yes it does, awesome. So, all we gotta do is walk out and contain it. There we go. And then where do we go? Looks like that is for a funnel. I guess now, we just go over this way. Alright, so that gives us access to the cube. What else does that button do, I wonder? Switch my portals around. Alright, so. Now we can get over here, right? Approximately. I believe so. And uh, it looks like our exit is already open, that's interesting. Does anything turn off this fizzler? Wait a sec. Is it just me or am I missing something here? Because what is what is this what does this button do? Does, does that, apparently. Huh. Well, let me think about this for a second. So, let's see, if we save here, and then do this... Then... then what? Like, we could do that, but we have to get the cube there first. And that's not portable on top. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do is use the funnel to go over here. And then we will think about this a bit more. Oh. I might have been making this somewhat more complicated than it needed to be. Although I do notice. So we can do this, right? That'll get the cube to go over there. The question is, will it actually- will it go into the funnel? Because if so, that makes things really easy. Oh yeah, look at that! Ta-da! I was overcomplicating things. Okay, now that has done... something. 
disable the fizzler, I think. And I think we're not supposed to be able to shoot a portal there. What about there? Is that even a portal surface? Yeah, I think we're not supposed to be able to do that, so... And this fizzler over here is still on. Huh. We definitely don't want to be in the funnel, because that would kill us. question is, what do we do, now that we've done all of this that we've done? Oh, that's a... Is that... What is that? Is that... I think that's portable. Okay. Yeah, it is portable, I'm just not looking at it correctly. Through the grating, it kinda looks like an observation room. <laughs> so it's like a reverse Max von Stratton mistake. That really looks like an observation room through the grating. I'm really not supposed to do this yet, huh? If we have the cube here, then we won't be able to get it off the button at all. Let's- let's go back. Interesting conundrum. I wonder what this is about. Probably... Probably because you can't put the- the death grill into the deadly goo for some reason. Might, well, we might as well start over at this point. Actually, I could... Ah, I <laughs> hit the wrong key! I meant to hit F7, I hit F6. I'm an idiot. Alright, so then, do this. Okay, we can easily get back to how we were. So let's think about this. idea. I think we'll try that, first. Come with me, Cube. We are going to come and perform science. Okay, so now we have the cube trapped here temporarily. Well, we can go through here... ...and... do what exactly? I guess we could come out before the cube and quickly shoot over there. Yeah, let's try it.
Ah. Uh, <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm sure it is theoretically possible. But I don't know if it's intended, because I know Rector Rocks and I both don't like execution-based stuff. But I can't think of anything else to do. Yes, did it. Okay, so now we've done that. Then what? I guess we can portal over there, right? Yeah, okay. Ooh, it turns off the funnel. Huh. Alright, well, let's get the cube real quick since we have access to it. That time it almost stayed on. Okay, so we can put the cube here. What all can we see from over this away? Not much. We can do this. Can we see more over here? see a reason we'd want to go back. I'm pretty sure we're gonna want to use the light bridge up here in order to get over there. Yeah... Because I don't think we can use the funnel anymore at this point. Problem is, we can't actually aim at the stuff I want to aim at. Yep. The angles just do not add up. Something we could do, but it's technically cheating. Okay. So we can't 
can't do that, actually. Okay, but that's still not really that helpful. Wait a sec. That is helpful. That turns on the funnel. <laughs> that is clever. I love that, Rectorox. That is amazing. That is really cool. Awesome. Well, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that was these right here, and I will see you all in the next episode. Don't forget to check out Rectorox's channel, he makes really funny Portal 2 videos. Goodbye!